Okay, I think I did it. If not, I'll have to share it later. So um, we have to go um, another time. All right, so what I did earlier today is I shared the November calendar, which is full of all of the reasons to celebrate in the month of um, November. And it's actually part of a salon planning guide that I did at the beginning of the year for salon owners. Although the calendar can be used for any entrepreneur. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm in my car. So I'm trying to find a spot that is not got me, uh, completely, um, you know, with the sun in my, uh, sun in my eyes. So I think I may have found a spot. So Anyway, I submitted that calendar, um, submitted a page from the calendar and gave you the entire month of November. A couple of days ago, I gave you the entire month of October and every day there's something and some reason to celebrate. So I wanted to talk about today what you could do in the month of November, connect that to your business and have a promotion or special or reason to get on a live or write a blog or write an article or do some posts to get some engagement, get some awareness about your business. Because as I've been saying for the last five days, September is the time to plan 2017 holiday season. So you should be using this month to get you prepped up so that you have an amazing holiday season. No excuses. So we're going to get right to it. And we're going to talk about five celebration ideas that I pulled out of the November calendar for you to celebrate. And some one of these is very near and dear to my heart. All right. So the first one is November 1st is Author's Day. So if you are not an author, I'm going to tell you that you need to be. As a business owner, this is a digital age that we are in. So you should, as a business owner, to make sure that you are an authority in whatever that you are doing should be blogging, writing articles, writing ebooks, somehow, what's the word that I'm looking for? Somehow you should be, you should be putting your stamp on the digital world by your writing, right? So it's not just what you do, it's what you say and how you're remembered through your digital work. So November 1st is Author's Day. So if you haven't written a blog, this would be a great day for you to introduce your first article, right? If you haven't written an ebook, this would be a great launch day for you to launch your first ebook. Also, articles, blogs, posts, whatever, you should be celebrating yourself as an author and using this day to promote your business through the celebration of whatever written work that you have done or will be doing by November 1st, okay? So I actually am releasing an ebook, but my ebook is going to be releasing October 1st. And as it relates to November 1st, I will probably be doing a special pricing on November 1st. So that's one way that you can celebrate in, in November and you can plan now. You can write an ebook pretty quickly. Um, you are the expert in your field. I am the marketing boss. So my first book is going to be about how to plan your next promotion and, and or event with ease. And like I said, that's going to be coming out October 1st and we will be doing special pricing, not only as pre-release, but also on November 1st in honors of, honor of Authors Day. All right. So that's idea number one. Idea number two is November 9th is Chaos Never Rest Day. And so I liked this one because everybody has chaos, right? And what is our particular superpower is to reduce chaos in other people's lives, right? So for November 9th, what you could do is, is you could make an entire day dedicated about your particular superpower in your business and talk about how you can help reduce your ideal client's chaos, right? By your particular superpower. So for November 9th, it's also close to Veterans Day. You can talk about your superpower in relationship to the reduction of chaos in your ideal client's life. So love that day. It's a great day to promote yourself. Great day to talk about you, the struggle that you help solve for your client's life. 
and help them realize this is a day for them to celebrate if they utilize your services. All right, so this one is kind of corny, but I love corny. This is November 8th is Nachos Day. Now, if you know me, and many of you don't, I absolutely freaking love nachos. I probably have eaten nachos in every location possible to man in my area. So my husband and I, we love to go out and have a drink every um, now and then, actually pretty regularly. And so every bar in my town that is close to me, I have, I know what their nachos taste like. So I pick this day because it's close to me and it's a personal thing. I love nachos. I, my kids always joke with me that I could, you know, mom only eats nachos. Like I could, I could eat a steak dinner with nachos and be just happy about that. And if there's steak on the nachos, that's even better, right? So nachos day. So for me, I think I'm going to post like a bunch of, I'm going to, I'm going to probably that week go to do a live. This is probably what I'm doing. I'm kind of making this up as I go. On Nacho Day, I am going to go that every day that week, I'm going to go and I'm going to take a picture of a nacho and do a live in a bar that has my favorite nachos and come to you live, right? And take pictures of the nachos, right? And, and I'm going to encourage my tribe to do the same thing in honor of Nachos Day, right? We all celebrate Margarita Day, right? We all celebrate Margarita Day. You got to celebrate Nacho Day. So that is a great way. So that's near and dear to my heart, right? So that's November 8th. Doesn't necessarily have to be near and dear to your heart. There's a whole bunch of other food days in November if you look at the calendar. So look for that post. It was earlier this morning. So that's number three, Nacho Day. For me, I am celebrating Nacho Week. Nacho Day is going to be the 8th. And every day that week, I'm going to go live in the group. And I'm going to take a picture and chronicle all of the nacho um, nachos in my favorite restaurants that I'm going to eat. And hopefully get my tribe to do the same thing. All right. So the number four way that you can celebrate in the month of November is Entrepreneur's Day. So we are all entrepreneurs. We all have small businesses. We are all out here trying to make a difference with um, helping our ideal clients with our superpowers. Entrepreneur's Day, right? So many of your clients, if you are particularly in the online space, all of my clients are entrepreneurs, so it is a great day to celebrate them, celebrate myself in terms of how we help our entrepreneurs be better. So let's not forget November 15th, Entrepreneur's Day. There are so many different ways that you can connect your services to that particular day. I can't even name them all, but just like a couple off the top of my head, right? You can use that as a customer appreciation day. If your clients are entrepreneurs, you can um, talk about your journey as an entrepreneur and what has gotten you this far, and then encourage your clients to talk about their journey and share video chronicle that journey on your group page or, or on your Facebook page. That would be a great thing. If you're an Instagram, that would also be another way that you can do it. I just love Entrepreneur's Day. And then the last one is very similar, which is November 25th is Small Business Saturday. And so if you are a small business, and so, you know, I always struggle with like, what's the difference between small business and entrepreneur. And I think in most people's mind, small businesses are physical brick and mortar businesses where entrepreneurs can be a physical business or it can be an online business. Frankly, it doesn't matter to me. Small business, anyone who is out there, owns their own business, is not doing this as a hobby. This is either their part-time or full-time job and they are making, they're earning revenue out of that business to me qualifies for small business or entrepreneurs. So in celebration of November 25th, you should be having a notice out there to let people know that you are there. So that is a great promotion day. All of the days, I would say that entire week, the, hell, the entire month leading up to the 25th, you should be promoting don't forget about my business. This is why you should be utilizing my services. I can help you by the following reasons, right? Again, you need to be focused on when you do your promotions, how you can help your client meet their problem, their struggle, or make their life better, right? So on Entrepreneur's Day and Small Business Day, you want to remind business, you want to remind your customers that it's their how how, let me say, how 
how the only way that you are able to provide their ser- great services is by them utilizing it. So you can also use this day as an appreciation day. All right, so I have given you another five reasons why you should be putting together your marketing promotion calendar in September for the holiday season. If you do the prep work now, it's going to make your life so much easier in the holiday season, right? So we are now 25, I think there's 30 days this month, 25 days away from the end of the month. If you start now, you still can get all of that you need done in preparation for having an amazing profitable holiday 2017 by doing the prep work now. So tomorrow, I am going to bring to you five December celebrations beyond just the ones that we know about, right? We know that there's Christmas. People are going to be Christmas shopping. I'm going to give you five holiday reasons why you should be celebrating and marketing in your business in the month of December. Let me not also forget Black Friday is in November, but I decided not to put that down as an option because you should be doing something for that anyway. I'm talking about non-traditional holidays that you can be marketing your business in addition to the regular holiday. So you've got Thanksgiving, you've got Black Friday, you've got Cyber Monday. That's another three reasons why you should be marketing your business. Plan it now, enjoy the fruits of your labor later, okay? This is Sunday Gardner, the marketing boss. I want to also remind you, we've got Dr. Lissette coming on in about, I want to say she's coming on in about 30 minutes, an amazing interview where she is going to share with us the know, the must know how psychology hacks to attract your ideal clients. She is a doctorate in psychology and has been doing this for 20 plus years, I want to say, and it was an amazing interview. So I do not want you to miss that. We will be live on in the Marketing Boss Pro Lounge. I will leave a link to that, um, to the group in this uh, live. And I look forward to talking to you soon and I will see you tomorrow. You guys have a great evening. Bye.